plays uh, Will on Days of Our Lives, a teenager who's just come out as gay to his very supportive grandmother, grandmother. played by Deidre Hall. You know, when I'm hanging out with Sonny and his friends, I, I feel like I fit in. Really? Mm-hmm. God, I can't believe my grandma is my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you so much. Mm -hmm. Well, what I said was, you're coming out, it's not a big deal to you. Your grandmother kills me. Kills me. Huh? That's the, that's the shocking part. That's what he he thought yes. was coming out, saying that you're the grandmother. Oh, no. no that's Hi. fairly well Great known. to see you. Hi, Dolly. Good to see you. Hi. I can't believe Jeff isn't here today. I know. You're finally here. So <laughs> Hi. Jeff. Come have a seat. Have a seat. There you go. So... You thank you. Nomination. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. The show got yes. 15, actually. 15, 15 and you in particular as well, right? For your performance? Yep. And oh, our yes. head writers and you. And, mm -hmm. and That's yep. wonderful. How many of for the show? 15? 15 this year. Wow. That's a record. You, you <laughs> might win wow. one or two, huh? Uh, we hope good so. Good chance. <laughs> There's a good chance. Mm -hmm. All right, so this has been a big deal. Daytime, when daytime was king, one of the great things about daytime was they were always a day ahead of what was happening. Issues would be discussed. This one is right as it's happening. The issue of you coming out of the closet, right? Yes. Uh, and now with the president saying that, the timing couldn't be more propitious. Well, I think the president followed. Yeah. yeah. He watches days, he knows. Yeah. He's like, it's time, it's safe, we can do this. Um, what a wonderful statement, though, to come out and, and to do that on daytime TV because it's just, you know, it should be the norm. It should be the way things are. But unfortunately, people are not, some people are not tolerant. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, the lovely thing about the way the storyline is written is that it's it's written with such tenderness and sensitivity, and it's not just a, a, a bold coming out story, right. but it's a story mm -hmm. of a a young man that we already adore and cherish, and and it's not a gay story as much as a coming of age, mm -hmm. and and him finding himself and how everybody around him behaves. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. I thought you would disagree. Uh, what is it about Days of Our Lives? And I said, and I, I, I didn't mean it in an insulting way, daytime, when we first met, daytime TV was sometimes bigger than primetime TV. Oh, yeah. yes. The soap operas were bigger than... Uh, well, reality that, shows have changed past, the sort of complexion of everything. But why, yeah. why is this show still doing so well and still going on? Um, okay, well, fine. I no, no, I, I'll take shots. Thank okay. you. Uh, I think I think it's because, and, and I watched the show uh, some before I before I even got on. I think it's because we still have, uh, although we're still trying to tackle current issues and, and storylines, we still do it in a way that uh, that promotes basically family ties, and we always bring it back to the family. Mm -hmm. And I think that's somebody that, that's something that you know anyone can relate to. Right. I think we're hungry for it out there mm -hmm. in an economy where nobody can afford anything but watching television. It's escape. It, it is. You know? And it, and Gays has cracked the code on how to do it. Greg Ming has figured out a way to bring our show in under budget and still be of high quality. So and, and we get to And compete with the reality shows. Mm -hmm. yeah. Please. Please. Go ahead. Talk about it. Go ahead. Please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I see the fires burning inside oh. there. <laughs> I, just, I think it, it, daytime is, is so necessary right now uh, for people that need that family around them and that comfort. And the fact that we're staying on the air speaks to that to me. Mm -hmm. I hope we live in a world at some point where, you know, it's what you said, like you fall in love with the character, he just happens to be gay. It's like, yeah. it, it, wouldn't that be wonderful if that's the way the world was? I think so. No, you know? hopefully one day there'll be, you know, a gay storyline will be not a big thing at all. Right. Be a storyline. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right now, mm -hmm. if you look at the, at, at the trends, 50% of the people will see it as a coming of age story and 50% will see it as coming out of the closet story. <laughs> uh, and, and that's not bad, actually, no, know, as a mix to be watching this. It, it plays, yeah, yeah, it plays it to everybody. Yeah. All right, I want to get back. Grandma? <laughs> Come on, Grandma? <laughs> like Mom, maybe. But grandma. Well, you're so sweet. She's not nearly old enough to be my grandma. Actually, I am old enough to be grandma. <laughs> but thank you for saying that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, I, I think the, the spirit of the relationship is, is what really speaks to the audience. Uh, and that You're closer are, to yeah. her than you are... Yes. Well, well, yes. Your me. mother is Allison Sweeney, and I even mm -hmm. find that shocking that she's, yeah, that she's Allie, a mother. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I know. Yeah. And and such is the life of soap operas, Steve. No. And for you, uh, no. the reaction to you out in the world, out in the street, what, how do people react to you? Your character or you, how do they react? Um, well, geez, I don't know. I, I mean, the only reaction I get mostly is from my family and my friends, and they seem to be happy about it, you know? Ha uh, and, um, but I think everybody, uh, so far, the reaction has been really positive mm -hmm. on my Twitter or whatever, and, and mm -hmm. the fan reaction, so, so far, so good. I'm sure there's, you know, like you said, there's intolerance out there, but I haven't, fortunately, been exposed to that yet. Well, I think what's great is that, you know, soap operas are hugely popular, Still, places like the Midwest, where we tend to think like L.A., New York, mm -hmm. we're very accepting here, and maybe in the Midwest, some places aren't as much. And I love that that's part of the storyline because education always leads to respect. I mean, you fall in love with the person as opposed to anything else. Yeah. <laughs> and that is what's happening on it. Yeah. I want to ask you the classic question. You still have to... Uh, you've been doing the show on and off for how many years? Uh, 35. Are you, are you still good at memorizing lines? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's gotten, yes. it's gotten sh my, my attention span is shorter, so I have okay. to learn the closer to the time I shoot them. Now. Got it. Got it. Do, do, do they still do the thing where sometimes they, you know, the, the lines are on the lampshade uh, and they're up on the... They no? Do that? They when they do, do that? that? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, man, I missed that. Everywhere. Yeah. Oh, Everywhere. I, you mean they don't do it anymore? No. Oh, they... they no. But they it would yeah. look obvious, don't you think? Like, we're sitting and staring at and reading? Yeah. No? Wow. Just survival. Just yeah. survival. We shoot very fast now. Well, see, that's why Steve likes live yeah. TV. Well, it's over. It's over. And the other thing you don't see so much of anymore, it used to be to fill time. They'd go to the shot of you at the end of the scene and just linger. Well, they still do that. Stays. They still do that. Yeah, it lingers, okay. and then we go to commercial break. And the music lingers. Uh, Chandler, pleasure to meet you. Congratulations. Very nice to meet you. Thank 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 you. No. Next you have not met? No, no, but I'm looking forward to the show. Hey, you're going to awesome. cross it right here. Believe me, the two of you together. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Good to see you. Good to see you. Meeting going on over here. Can we get a shot of them? Is that possible? Or am I out of code here? Can, let's see what we can do. Oh, she's here. catching my digits. This is Summit, an actress, Summit. So, anyway, yeah. Uh, did you chase it's, Chandler uh, away? 555. Five, five. Get in there, Chandler. Come on, get in there. 555. Five, five. Young man, take out your phone. Oh, yeah. 555. Five, five. So, I remember, so I'm still single, single, okay? So, He's so hit me back. Huh. And, uh. <laughs> it's not too late for you, young man. Okay, go. Amy is playing a.